Jones will inbound. Northwestern leads by three. Just over 15 minutes to go in the ball game. Beth Marshall in trouble, but she's bailed out by a foul call on Easton, who can't believe it. For Easton, that's her first. Latier Easton, the senior guard, five foot eight out of Chicago, Illinois, returning home for this one. She went to John Hope Academy and was all state. Inbounds to Maki, great pass, and Maki finishes. 36-31, Northwestern leads. Ali Maki really elevated there, got way up, fell to the ground, sacrificed her body for the bucket. Great inbounds pass by Beth Marshall, finding Ali Maki, who finished on the run. Eason for three. Got it and the foul on Brittany Orman, who can't believe it. It's a chance for a four point play for Latir Eason. Joe McEwen stunned by that call, and Eason will get a chance for the four point play. Yeah, here we see Brittany Orban a little aggressive, gives up the shot look, but then gets a little hand on Latir Eason. Eason completes a four point play and just like that, it's a one point game at Welsh Ryan Arena. Anybody's affair right now as Northwestern will slow it down. A good one between the Wildcats and the Tigers. Aaron Morse alongside John Rosenberg as Brittany Orban gets it over to Ali Maki. 13 on the shot clock, Jeske down low, got position, couldn't make the lay-in, rebound to Graham. Here come the Tigers and Eason brings up the court. They like to run, but a travel on Adrian Webb as she looked to hit a pull-up three, a little too happy with her feet. Yeah, and LSU coach Van Chancellor is not happy about that one. But Northwestern on the other end with a mistake, Amy Jeske had a wide open opportunity, then fumbles the offensive rebound. Both teams need to kind of find a way to control tempo. LSU wants to speed things up. Northwestern wants to slow things down. We're gonna see that play out on both sides of the ball in the upcoming minutes. Maki drives in and is fouled by a dismayed Adrian Webb, who argued that Maki tried to push off. But Webb gets called for the foul. For Webb, that's her second foul of the game. We have a substitution. Bianca Lutley into the game. She will replace Webb. Lutley's provided a bit of a spark off the bench so far for the Tigers. Marshall will inbound under her own basket. She had a great inbounds pass last time to Maki. This time gets into Jones. Maki will set up the offense. Cats lead by one, 14 minutes to go. Kick out Marshall, who's been contained so far today offensively. Now she'll look to drive. Jones driving to the hoop. All the way to the bucket, but she can't finish the lay-in. Orban the rebound. Brittany Orban's been a beast on the boards for Northwestern. Here's Jones. The lob into Jeske. Working the low block against Turnbow. That one in and out. The Wildcats cannot buy a shot right now. And a foul called on Northwestern. Amy Jeske can't believe it. That was just a frustration foul from Amy Jeske. She's working the low block and really can't seem to get anything to fall for her. And there, I guess, just out of frustration, fouls the rebounder. Joe McEwen looking a little bit perplexed right now. Northwestern getting a lot of close looks. They're not making them. Trying to pressure the Tigers in the backcourt. But they break it. Now Easton. It's a one point game, Cats lead. 13, 20 to go in the ball game. Easton to Turnbow from the right elbow. No good, not close. Orban another rebound. Double digit rebounding today for Brittany Orban. Cats leading by one. Trying to get a much needed bucket. Jeske from the baseline, that one's good. Amy Jeske, 38-35 Cats. Amy Jeske couldn't hit from the inside, so there she goes outside, hits the 15-footer, maybe a confidence builder for her. Northwestern's been going to her all second half. We'll see if they continue to do that moving forward. From the left elbow this time, air ball by Barrett. And Jones gets the board. The Cats looking to run now, but Orban falls over, but she gets a foul called on Bianca Lutley. Orban was a little bit out of control, but she got bailed out by the officials. Northwestern will maintain possession as Milan Woods comes in. Yeah, this was definitely a questionable call. It looks like Orban oh. just kind of tripped. Lutley did not touch her. I do not think Lutley touched her at all, but Orban bailed out by the referees. Zebra's on her side. Milan Woods in, Ali Maki will take a seat. Marshall to inbounds. 
She gets it into orbit, another beautiful inbounds pass from Beth Marshall. She is a master of that, and Orban finishes. Yeah, great court vision from Beth Marshall. Orban cutting behind a wall of LSU players. Marshall was able to spot her and feed her the ball at the right moment. Bianca Lutley on the baseline. Woods with great pressure, and Orban the steal. Looking to run. Marshall, left wing three, count it. Beth Marshall knocks down the triple. It's an eight point Wildcat lead. Huge momentum swing in the last minute. LSU was pounding at the door, but Northwestern stayed resilient, and they've worked back a big lead. Eason to Graham, matched up against the freshman Woods. The senior versus the freshman, now Marshall picks up Graham, over to Eason, left wing three, with the answer for Latir Eason. We got a barn burner now all of a sudden, it's a five point game. Yeah, Joe McHugh had told us there was no way this was gonna be a high scoring affair, and up until a few minutes ago, we believed him, but now both offenses in sync and making shots. Marshall, top of the key, Jones. Now Orban to the freshman Woods. The cut to Jones, who travels. LSU basketball, timeout on the floor will take it as well. 11.31 to go in the game. It's the Cats 43, the Tigers 38 on the Big Ten Network.